If you're like many other Redditors out there, you may think that your chest is not very big because you just have bad chest genetics. Well, I'm here to tell you the truth may just be that you're too fat to tell. I was one of those people too. I always thought, oh, I just have bad chest genetics. My chest doesn't stick out the way I want because if you wanna be attractive as a male, what's the first thing? You wanna have abs because that makes you look like you work out, but then you wanna have a big chest that stands out, wide shoulders, that V taper, and then you start getting into the bodybuilding stuff and get overboard. But I worked out on and off a lot throughout my life and uh, it wasn't until the last few years I started getting really serious and still just thought, I don't have great chest genetics. My chest doesn't pop out. And yes, there is a genetic component to it. Muscle bellies insert the shape of your chest. Some people are just gonna be naturally gifted, but the first thing is if you're here, like I see on Reddit so many times, and you're asking, do I have bad chest genetics? And you've been working out less than a year or two, just keep working out hard. Make sure you're training properly, you're eating enough protein and you're getting enough sleep and you're hitting everything progressive overloading, making sure you're doing exercises right. Because one of my main problems starting off was I did my reps like this, using shoulders, overdeveloped shoulders, learn to arch your back, retract your shoulders, and actually engage your chest. Drop the weight, stop the ego lifting. That'll probably fix your problem. But for the people that have learned to do that and you think your chest looks bad, I'm gonna share something with you because this is what I found out after finally getting really lean to do a bodybuilding show. So we're looking at here 14 years ago, my wife and I, the first year we got married, I was able to bench press about 245 I did five or six months prior to this and my chest isn't that big it's almost just kind of flat with my stomach same thing here nothing to write home about it's not like anything crazy is going on and so if you don't have any muscle then yet your chest isn't gonna stand out like here I didn't work out much for the next year and my arm shrunk same thing here after we had our first kid a couple years later it almost looks like my chest is just flat and something to take into account the bigger you are, even if your chest is larger, if your stomach sticks out past your chest, it's going to make your chest look smaller. So just getting lean enough to where your chest stands out more than your stomach is gonna be a big deal. Even when I first started getting serious about working out, this was about 10 years ago. You can see from the side, my chest doesn't really stand out much. I used to always joke, I'll know my chest is big enough when my nipples point at the ground because it's so big that it does that. That's never happened, but here you go. You see from the front, you can tell I have a chest more so here. I gained quite a bit of weight. It's one of the first bulks I did. You can tell from the side my chest sticks out some. So move ahead nine years. I start learning more what I'm doing. I'm leaner, I'm bigger. And you can see my chest is noticeable here, but it doesn't really stick out. It still doesn't pop like that look I want. And there's something to be said about people on PEDs. It's gonna help grow things and make it look even bigger. But when you have more fat around it, it's not gonna stand out as much. So here is about nine pounds lighter than the picture next to it. And you can see my chest is standing out a whole lot more than it was in the last picture because there's less fat around it. My obliques are showing more, so the fat around the bottom of the chest is going away through the middle. As that fat goes away, the muscle stands out more, and especially underneath and around the sides. One of the first times I really noticed my chest stands out a lot more than I'd ever seen before is when I was filming this leg day during my peak week. You can see, there's a lot of definition from the side of my chest. I was like, wow, my nipples almost pointing at the ground like I always wanted. My chest is actually large now and it stands out because there's hardly any fat on me. This was like four days prior to a show. As we move around to the front, you can see my chest looks more prominent. This is the look I was always going for forever. I just didn't realize that I had to lose more weight. You do have to build up that base of muscle, but if you're not lean enough, your muscles aren't gonna stand out as much, just like your triceps stand out more, your shoulders stand out more. Everything you can see better when there's less fat around it. And there's a trade-off. Do I wanna feel terrible and look this way and be super lean, or do I wanna feel pretty normal but not look quite as good as I thought I did when I was super lean? You have to figure out what's important for you. And this was the night before my show. When you see here, my chest really stands out from the front. I'm like, when I saw this, I was really surprised because looking at yourself, you don't really see much of a difference. And I turn to the side and I'm like, wow, my chest is really standing out. I wasn't pumped up or anything. This was just from carving up and I was thinking, dang, this is the look I've always been going for. This is pretty awesome. But at the same time, it's really hard to maintain that because it uh, takes a lot of work. And to compare now, almost five months later, this is what I look like. Just normal, eating what I want, trying to bulk up, getting as strong as I can. And you see here from the side, my chest isn't nearly as lean. It doesn't stand out nearly as much. Like it's still there, it's actually bigger. My bench has gone up 
20 pounds since the show and everything else too. My deadlift's gone up 40 pounds, my squat's gone up 30, 35, something like that. So all my muscles are stronger, which means most likely bigger, but when there's more fat on you, you can't notice that as much. So there's a trade-off. If you stay that lean, you're not gonna make nearly the progress in the gym because it's really hard to make progress when you're depleted. It's not really safe too when you're dehydrated like that to show everything. It's not good for your joints, putting heavy weights on it. So you gotta find a balance there. And yeah, if you wanna peak for something and get kind of lean, that's cool, but you're probably not gonna wanna stay like that. So this is me, normal right here, my wife and I at the beach. You can see my chest isn't really pumped up. It looks pretty flat. And when you're natural, hey, that's something you're gonna have to deal with. When you're in the gym, you get a good pump, everything looks pretty crazy, but you're not gonna walk around with that pump all the time. You gotta have realistic expectations and realize what you see on Instagram of people, it's typically at the gym or even if they're on the beach, they probably pumped up, did a bunch of push ups, something first to get the blood flow in there, to make it swell up more, to get this kind of size look on my chest right now. It's similar when I do a bunch of sets of bench press halfway through my chest workout and then my chest is gonna look larger. But then later on through the day, once blood flow goes back to normal, my chest is gonna look flatter like here in this picture. So realize once again, I say it a lot, you're the only one that really cares how it looks. If you wanna take some pictures with your chest blowing up after pumping up and all that being really lean to make you feel better, then that's cool. But just know that your chest genetics are likely not what's making your chest look small. It's probably just the extra fat on your body and there's nothing wrong with that. Just know that when you cut down, you probably will reveal a whole lot more muscle. Just like as you cut down more, all of your abs get more defined because the fat around them goes away and they stick out just like the chest. There's fat around it. We don't really think that much, but there is. And when that goes away, your chest is much more prominent. Like those shots of me doing the leg stuff, that was a leg day. I didn't do any chest work. My chest was sticking out that much just as I had my shoulders back holding weights. That's it folks, check out at Camber Fitness on Instagram. I've been posting leading up to a powerlifting show that I've been training for and life updates, family stuff, all kinds of things that go on there post more frequently there than YouTube. So if you want to follow along on my journey, that's one of the best places. Like, subscribe, comment with what you want. I'll see y'all in the next one.